Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my messy office where I'm filming today. In today's video, I wanna share with you the making of my leopard print coat. I've always been a fan of leopard print and I remember growing up, leopard print was always one of those fabrics that was more associated with women's wear than men's wear and up until recently has become much more accepted in fashion in men's wear. I've always been a fan of wearing bold prints, bold pieces and bending gender norms. I'm gonna show you two different ways that I wear my leopard print coat. One is on a more casual look and the other still casual, but a little bit more dressed up. So I actually found two leopard prints and I couldn't decide which one I wanted to use. So I took a poll on my Instagram and you guys all voted for the one on the right. So once you guys had decided, I started laying out my pattern. I took an existing pattern and I just adjusted it so that I can create a shawl collar. And here I am right now, just laying out the pattern onto my fabric. I extended it because the pattern that I was using was actually for a t-shirt. I extended it longer to the length that I wanted it for my coat and I started cutting. Now what I'm doing here is taking my t-shirt sleeve pattern, extending it to the desired length for my coat and then cutting it out. Once I was done cutting out my sleeve, I took my front pattern, cut out a front collar facing pattern out of that pattern, put it on my fabric and cut that out. When it came time to decide what kind of lining I wanted to use, it was a toss up between this black cash lining and this gray pinstripe fleece that I've been holding onto for a while. I wanted to have something a little bit more cozy, so I decided to go with the fleece lining. Once all of my lining pieces were cut, I cut interfacing for the collar facing and I fused that onto the pieces before I started sewing. What I'm doing here is joining my lining pieces together and then joining them to my front collar facings. Once those were done, I seamed the sleeves together and I attached them to my lining. I forgot to hit record when I started sewing the leopard fabric together, but they're basically the same steps that I took to sew the lining. Over at the iron, I press all of my seams open. Now what I'm doing here is I'm joining my lining pieces to the self at the collar. So basically, I'm sewing right sides together around the front neckline to join the two pieces and then under stitching on the wrong side of the collar. Then I joined the sleeve openings, lining right sides together with a self, and quickly did the hem, and I turned it right side out. And then I had my finished leopard print coat. If you like what you see, please leave a thumbs up and a comment below. I have some really exciting projects in the works and I'd love to share them with you as they unfold. See you in the next video. Thank you.